Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sam Quebec. Today we're going to talk about these right here, Bradford Guardian 3 Knives. And uh, I've talked about this one before and I just got this one and we're going to kind of cover it here. But what's nice about Bradford, if you're not familiar with Bradford, they build some amazing knives. This is their stuff, Bradford USA. Um, you can see that on there. I'll put a link down there for you maybe for their things. But they make a Guardian 3, they make a 3.5, they make a bunch of different knives and they're very good knives. I am a knife freak kind of thing, but I like certain steels, um, and I also like to experiment with certain steels, find out which ones I do and don't like more. There are things that I look for that other people may or may not look for, um, but for me personally, I, I, uh, I really like this Guardian style. I got a lot of great knives. I got some amazing knives that I carry every day with me. I don't own a knife that sits in the safe. I do not have a Safe Queen knife. Um, I have a few that I don't like and I don't use, like this White River knife. I just... Uh, you know, S30V, I'm not really a fan of the steel, and uh, I just, I, I, I don't use it very much. I've, I've tried it. I've actually cleaned two deer with this knife, but I'm just not really a, a huge fan of it, so I don't ever use it. But you take, for example, um, you know, my, my Travis Styles custom-made 1095 knives. I use these things. You can see, I mean, that's been beat to crap, patina, re patina over and over again, 1095 custom made by him with amazing heat treat skills. Another 1095 knife. This is another Travis Styles knife right here. I love this little dude right here. That is just a wicked perfect little um, little skinning knife. I've done reviews on these two as well. These things, I got a triple set of these. Three identical versions of this. One for me, one for my wife, one for my daughter. And this knife is just amazing. And I really like the 1095 steel. It doesn't matter. I, I've had so many different steels. I have broke so many different knives. Benchmades, uh, Spider Co's, uh, Cold Steels, Kirk Shaw's, um, uh, my Falls Knife and Knife. I've had to, I've had to fix that blade like three times on my grinder already. I mean, I beat a lot of knives and I break a lot of them, and so I'm kind of particular about the steels I do and don't care for. Um, I bought this Bradford, which comes in three different steel options. One is an N690, and it is a great steel. Um, it is a very good steel. I have, I do not have that one, but it's also very affordable. It's like around 100 bucks. Then they make it in, an, in a uh, 390, okay, M390. This one I bought last year, an M390. I carry it quite a bit. It is a great knife. Um, 390 is fantastic for for everyday stuff, and that's what I wanted it for. Um, but I also um, I I don't trust 390 as well. I just not uh, it's not. If I had to take a knife with me into the woods and it was going to be the only knife I had on me, 390 would not be what I would want to personally choose. Now, I do like the steel. I like it for an everyday, urban, around there kind of stuff, carrying knife, and, and it is a fantastic blade. And maybe many of you guys disagree with me. That's completely okay. My steel choices are based on what I do with them. I do not own a knife that does not get used. But I also thought in a knife this size, it's not like I need it to be super strong, so I'm not worried about it. Like my SE6... Uh, my SE4s, my SE knives, my Topps knives, my other knives that I'm going to beat and abuse hard. I'm not having any intentions of doing that with this. This is a pocket knife as far as I'm concerned. This little three inch guard is a pocket knife. If you look at it comparison wise to that White River, we have very similar in size here. Okay, where's that at for center? There you go. Very similar in size to that White River, which is in my opinion a pocket knife size knife. I carry this one was set up on a, uh, to be able to put right around my neck, just like this, and wear it that way. That's how I wore it, um, you know. And it worked good. And I also, if I didn't, if it was in my pack, I could hang this on a branch so I didn't lose it and get it lost in the leaves. Um, but these I carry as a dangler. Okay, you'll notice that's different because this is a pocket knife for me. I carry these on a dangler. They're uh, all my pocket knives are basically set up that way. Um, like that with the exception of this one, which I've been wearing a lot lately. I've been wearing it just wear, wear right around my neck. Okay, I can just throw it right on. This is actually my daughter's. Mine is shortened up and it's got the insides taken out of this and it's actually already stained because um, when I'm, I'm pressure washing, I, uh, I'm, I'm usually in like a, a nylon pan or something that's really thin and dry fast because I'm constantly getting soaking wet. So I've been carrying, since I don't have pockets in it, I've been carrying my version of this and just tucking it in. But if I need it, I have that knife right there and simple to use. So that's how I've been carrying that one a lot lately because it's just so compact and little and light and I love it. Um, but like I said, we've got a three pack set of these. And um, 
But so you can see size-wise, like I said, if you, you look at that knife, even to my Azula, which is also on a dangler. As a matter of fact, uh, in my pocket right now, do I? Yeah, I have another Azula right here. Another Azula, okay? And if you compare to the Azula, not a huge difference in size to this knife, this Bradford knife. They are fantastic. I want to make sure I don't put the wrong Azula in the wrong sheath here. There we go. But they are absolutely incredible knives. All right. Now this other Travis Styles one here, you can see this is a three inch blade, but with a bigger handle. But you can see these start getting into, look at the blades are very similar, but you got a lot more handle to that. And that makes that a bigger knife. This one too big to EDC in my pocket every day. This one is about the max I want to carry in my actual pocket. And that's what I love about it. If you compare that, and I'll show you again, here's another example before I show you that, but here's a 2.5 tops, 2.5 MSK, amazing little knife. This is an incredible little knife. But look at the size difference of that, okay? Big difference in size. But if you look at it in the sheath and you compare these, not a huge difference in sheath size. Okay, look at that compared to an Azula. Now keep in mind my Azula is I've already cut off the edges. I customized mine for dangler options, but look at the size of that case, that sheath setup versus that Azula. They're almost identical in size. There's standing right there, same bottom height, okay? But you look at that, they're almost identical in size and in thickness of that sheath. They're almost the same exact size knife, but when you look at the blades and you take these out, look at the difference in the size of that knife. It's a lot bigger of a knife. So that's what I really like about the Bradford. The Bradford gives you just enough handle to be functional and do what you need. Good jimping on the back. Everything about it is really nice. Got a nice choil in there. And it is a very stout, strong, great little blade. So I've been very happy with them. Now you will notice too that instead of using regular eyelets like we have on one, because you can see how far down it has to go from the blade to make eyelets. See how far down you got to go? How much extra sheath meat you need? in order to make that work. Well, I didn't want to deal with that on, I mean, and I have that on, I make all my own sheets. This one's actually from Tops, but I do make all my own. Um, but what I wanted to do was I wanted that thinner profile. So you can see I actually pinned mine with pins. This one I've been using now for about eight months this way and it's holding up incredible. So um, it's been absolutely amazing. So I'm sticking with the pinning because I can get that super thin profile. If you look at this, Look at how little bit I have to go on that sheath. It's an amazing setup. So I've been really happy with that. Like I said, if you look at that, even compared to that Azula from a side view, um, I mean, you can see that that is, you know, thickness wise, it's, it's impressive. Anyway, so I have been very happy with this particular Bradford knife. I, I'm really thrilled with it, even though it is in 390 steel, which like I said, I, I bought it that way on purpose. I like it. It holds an edge well. I, I, I like 390 for certain things. I happen to be looking online at Blade HQ. And, cause, and then when I saw it, I went right to Bradford's website. Okay, so the box that come in, Bradford USA, I went right to their website and seen. And they don't even offer it on their website. It's not even there. It's kind of a dealer exclusive kind of deal, one-off kind of thing. But I found this right here, which, yes, I already made the sheath for it. Um, amazing and actually uh, when I did this sheath design I noticed that I had enough room right here to put in a rivet and keep it the same exact size sheath so I'm not gaining any extra height in there or nothing like that they're basically the same exact size without fail um, and I was able to put another eyelet in there right in that little notch that happens to fit right inside of there right in that spot and get it in there perfectly and get it in there so I did and what that does for me is now it gives me another option if I want to actually connect this to run these through here and actually have that so it mounts to my pack or anything so I, I did that but I make my own sheaths but this one here is the Guardian 3 same exact knife as what this one is these are two identical knives Difference being, this one is M390. This one right here is CMP3V. I always just call it 3V, but this is CMP3V. Now, you can get them with a false edge on the back. I do not like that. I want that full tang strength all the way down. So any of them I get, when I, when I get these, I want that full tang, and I'm gonna come around and show you. 
if you look at this closely, I'll hold it right up here where you can see it. Where is that center of that? See, I want that full thickness tang. I do not want a false edge on the back because it takes away strength from the tip. So I'm not a fan of that. I want that full size tang on there. And uh, But here's a close-up of that where you can see. But this is that Guardian 3V right here and this has got what they call a nimbus coating on it it's kind of but basically what it is is they paint it black and then they stone wash it if i had my choice i would have not went with this coating on there and i would have went with just a standard uh you know just an uncoated blade but again bag you, you know pick you, bankers can't be choosers you can't really pick and choose what you want to do with this because they are a one-off special. Um, but uh, this was there, and uh, I'm really impressed with it. I wanted to try this 3V steel. Now, what 3V does is it takes all of the qualities that I love about 1095. 1095 is what we call predictable, okay, for me. I have never, ever, in, in the hundreds and hundreds of knives... Um, you got to remember, I mean, I'm, I'm getting close to 50 years old, and I have lived an outdoor lifestyle for basically my whole life. I have beat more knives, like I said, than you could ever imagine. 1095 is the only knife seal that has never let me down, period, ever. It has never. Now, I'm not saying I haven't broke some, but when I broke them, I'm going, oh, my God, I can't believe I'm doing this to this thing. Oh, my God, I can't believe it's a stink. You know, all right, or bend mostly, okay? But I, it's, uh, it's pretty crazy that they would hold up the way they do so they're very predictable i like 1095 i like 1095 when it is heat treated the right way se tops travis styles they heat treat these things correctly with differential heat treating and stuff that makes them hold an edge very well for a 1095 steel. There are other 1095 knives out there that I just want nothing to do with. I own them already. I got a ton of them. And you know what? They're not bad, but they just, I know they're not going to hold an edge like a, a Topps, an Essie. Uh, Travis's knives, like I said, I don't know what kind of magic he puts in them, but they're, they're amazing knives as well, too. Um, but so certain 1095s I like. Some of them, other ones are, are mediocre. But top shelf 1095, incredible. Um, 3V, CMP 3V, takes all of the attributes of 1095 steel and takes it to a whole new level. Okay, you get the edge retention that's above and beyond what uh, 1095 can do. Yes, it's a little harder to sharpen. It's about equivalent to like a 390. Okay, about the same as like a 390 as far as the sharpening capabilities. But the strength of this is actually supposed to be even stronger than what a 1095 is. This should take it to a much stronger level. That's why it's usually used in a lot of bigger survival knives. Um, but again, I don't have any proof of that yet as far as anything because this is my first 3V knife I've had. But I'm going to beat the crap out of this. Yes, you heard me say they're very, they're rare. They're not very easy to find. Uh, they're kind of one they're hit or miss, or if they decide to make them, and they did, and I got it on Blade HQ. But this will not be a safe queen. It will not be traded. It will not be sold. It will never look like this ever again. I'm going to beat this knife into pure. I'm, I'm going to use it on levels that are unheard of, and we're going to just. That's what I do. I'm not playing with them. Um, I'm going to use the crap out of this. So I'm excited to see what it will do. But on paper. And according to everything you learn about it out there, and you go to Blade HQ and you look at their, their steel guides and charts, CMP3V is basically, in my opinion, it's like a 1095 on steroids. So I'm very excited to find a knife this small that's in a 3V. Usually it's bigger knives, but to find one in 3V this size that gives me all of these Bradford characteristics that I really like, that very... Uh, a lot of blade in a very compact package that's still pocket carryable. That is the beauty of this. Um, I, I love that factor, especially for urban environments. I like that. And even in the woods, I like that. Like I said, don't get me wrong. Love my 1095 stuff. But this one right here might actually be a pretty sweet knife. And I'm pretty fired up to, to experiment with it and see what it comes out at. Uh, if you're looking yourself for a Bradford Guardian, um, you can get the N690 on Amazon, and they're they're affordable, and that's a very good steel as well, too. Okay, there's nothing wrong with N690. For 99% of what you're going to use, especially in a knife this size, 690 is a super affordable option coming in at right around $100. The 390 version.
version is going up to about 170 bucks, and you're about 175, 180 bucks for this one if you can find one of these with 3V. Um, but like I said, when I bought this, or actually when I bought this one right here, the M390, this was not even an option or available. I bought this, loved it, think it's a great knife. You've heard me say it before. I don't know if the 390 is really all that worth it. I, I Even in the review on this knife, I had said that I'd probably do it in a 690. Um, but when I saw that they had one in 3V and I don't own a knife in 3V and I wanted one, I was all over it. That was that was it. Because like I said, I got, I got more knives than I know what to do with. I don't need another knife. But um, I, I like this design so much. Um, for it's like I said so much knife in such a very small pocketable size this just goes right in your pocket and works fantastic that when I saw it in 3v had to have it um, the dangler option like I said that's the only way I carry a knife anymore and I always carry a fixed blade but it basically hangs right on my side right here see that little black strap that paracord put my thumb on there I hook it pull it right into my hand and there's my knife Sweet, simple, and easy. Put it back in one-handed, just find a slot, drop it in there like that, and it drops it right back in my pocket. So it's very functional. This dangler design is excellent. When you buy the knife, it will not come with a Kydex sheath like this. This is my own design and my own making. Instead, it will come with a sheath like this. This is a leather sheath. Right here, it's got a steel uh, little insert in there to protect you, and it has got a strap on the back so that you can carry it any way you want to design like this. You can carry it in the back like this. You can do whatever you want to scout carry wise with this knife if you want to. I am not a fan of this setup. I'm not going to run that. I, I, she, if, if somebody needs one, call me. I'll probably give you one. Um, but, uh, but for me, this Kydex right here, I make my own, and that is my simple design with my pins that works absolutely flawless. So there you go, though. Bradford Guardian. I mean, like I said, they, they build a great knife, and this Guardian 3 is just perfect size, get her done, everyday carry, nice little knife, not too big, not too small. It will do everything you need to, strong enough to be able to use for a technical survival situation, I guess, if you needed. Um, but like I said, they uh, they perform well, they're comfortable in the hand, they do the job. I just keep finding myself going back to this more and more. I love my Azulas. I, I, I carry have carried these for so many years, and I still have four or five of these that have never even been opened yet, and I've had them for five, six, eight, ten years. Um, I just I love this knife. They're amazing knives, um, and they're fantastic. And then, like I said, the Travis Styles Carbon or, uh, 1095, these are incredible, too. There's reviews I've done on them. Fantastic knives. But this particular one here, too, like I said, it's a excellent skinning knife, excellent hunting knife, excellent woods knife for any of that stuff. This is just perfect. Um, and it is so nice and lightweight for me for, like I said, when I'm with my other one, when I'm, I'm pressure washing, when I'm not wearing pants with pockets, this one here is just perfect. And it just hides right in under my shirt and sits right there. And it's just available anytime I need it. And it's a fantastic knife. I, I really, really love the 1095. But in my pocket... These Guardians, they are pretty impressive, I'm not going to lie, and I'm pretty fired up to have a 3V model. So uh, there you go. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, there'll be some links down below for you for some of this stuff. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.